Welcome back to Farming Simulator and today we're going to have a look at whether it is better to mow the grass in the first harvest state or the second harvest state. So let's roll the intro and get to work. So this video was inspired by me wondering if you got more grass harvesting in the later ready to harvest state um, which I tested and you do you get about 50% more and then I wondered it, do you get more if you wait through the year or if you cut as soon as it's available so what we have here is two strips of grass planted with a 23 meter wide cedar they're the same length they've both been fertilized limed and rolled and then i cut them at the end of the year so this is the first time they are available to cut in may doing the first cut on the uh patch that we're going to do as soon as we can harvest it and then going to re-fertilize it run through the year and see if we get more from cutting more often or more from cutting later and getting a slightly higher yield uh, as with a lot of the testing that i do i was really curious as to what is the best way to do this and the only way to find out is to run the test so let's get it fertilized and you see that we are applying fertilizer i don't have precision farming on for this test just running it base game so that's growing again skip ahead a day uh, we're playing on one day month so going to june and second plot is ready to harvest um so we should get more off of here about 50 percent more from my previous testing uh, and it, we're just going to see if it is better to harvest more often or wait um I guess the other thing you need to consider in this is whether you want the extra work or not that you might get from an extra cut uh, if you're cutting as soon as you can and how it works out through the year with you know scheduling harvest and all that kind of thing whilst this is running in the background if you enjoy my videos and you aren't already please subscribe to the channel turn on notifications do lots of these kind of tutorial tests and let's plays as well um, and if you really want to help out and support the channel you could become a channel member like these guys have that gets you access to exclusive chat on the discord and you get mentioned in the videos and you're in my let's play series as well also got patreon that gets you access to an exclusive let's play series and input into future videos right, let's skip ahead and our first plot is ready to harvest again this is kind of gets into a pretty you know relentless cycle doing this testing this way which is why we've got the big m and a couple of big tractors with big loading wagons um, you can see over there we used the borgo cedar to uh, get this planted kind of cool to play with some of the big kit and uh yeah, yeah. just find out how some of this stuff in game works and how giants have balanced it out so let's pick up the second cut off of here and um, so basically on here you're going to get a cut every two months if you do the first harvest day or every three months if you wait i'm using the base game growth file on here not a modified geo like my uk geo which does change how grass behaves slightly so we are up to basically 30,000 liters of grass off of the more frequent cut we'll do a quick refertilize on that and uh suspect next month the uh, actually the next one the two will be ready at the same time uh, we need to skip ahead a couple of days to get to having a field in a harvestable state so then we're going to have to cut both of them so i'm recording this on the day that the 1.5 update has released which has some uh fixes for things like pallet limits and a load of other fixes um, and some really cool new features like the mixer wagon showing when you're outside the mixer a bit like maze plus does um, and also there are some fixes to precision farming and some updates to that so we might have a look at those in a separate video as well but that's the uh the lower yielding plot cut or the more frequent plot cut and now on to the longer cut someone's left a tractor in the way so frustrating 
Oops, we'll get this one cut, get them both picked up and we'll see how we are. I think we'll get one more cut off of each field in this game year. I'm only gonna do the one year because everything resets then, so. Let's see what we get off of this one. I'm not using um, silage additive either. I you could, because I'm cutting grass, but you know, I wanted to do this as a generic test. So the same values would apply to hay or not. Uh, random interesting fact um i used to think that those fertilizer spreaders weren't very representative of the uk and then at the weekend i saw uh same brand slightly different model so yeah uh, that taught me a lesson uh, it was not behind a fent two track it was on a uh a case puma 240 i think it was uh, it looked really cool it didn't have the big spreader arms on the back either but it was nice to see some different real world farm kit in the UK. So I think at this point we are pretty much even uh, on about 45,000 litres. Yep, pretty much even. So we need to refertilize them both. Um, and now the interesting bit is I'm pretty sure we will get a, a proper cut off of the plot we're doing um, as soon as we can harvest. I'm not sure if the second plot is going to get to that last harvestable state before the grass starts growing for the year. And that might mean that actually we end up cutting them both in the same state, uh, which will give us the same yield. So, yeah. Because I am pretty sure that grass stops growing in base game FS in November. Um, so I don't think the field on our left now is going to advance another state to get to that last harvestable state. Uh, which means that actually we're going to get the same amount of grass off of both fields. Uh, so that really means that it is down to how often you want to cut, how you want to time it through the year with harvest and things like that. Um, and whether you're really desperate for grass and you really want to get a, um, a quick cut in and accept a little bit less. So first forage wagon is full off of here. So we're gonna quickly buy another one. We'll buy a, a matching uh, case tractor to go with it. And we'll get, we'll end up with a pair, two pairs of tractors and loading wagons. Cause I'm pretty sure we're gonna fill the other one as well. And um, yeah, you know, basically, it's probably obvious at this point that um, the conclusion is that however you cut the grass, as long as you don't leave it um, in a ready to harvest state for a month, then you're going to get the same amount. Um, there may be some games you can play, which I haven't looked at on, you know, if you do a late first cut, so you get a bit more. Um, no, I think you'd still get the same. I think however you do it, you're going to get the same. Because if you did a late first cut and then didn't wait, so you did an early second cut, I think you'd get then the same. You'd get three harvests of two full and one slightly lighter versus the four slightly lighter. So I think you end up with the same amount. Um, so that was just me testing as to whether the grass grew anymore. So we've jumped back to December to get this mown and yeah, it's going to be the same amount as we took off the other field. Um, I can't think of a situation, and if you can, put it in the comments because I am certainly not um, not beyond people's ideas as to how could you optimize this to get slightly more off. I don't think you can. Um, just from the way the grass states change, someone's going to throw in rolling makes grass grow quicker. I still don't believe that. Still have seen no evidence of that. Um, I am going to test it a bit more, but so far, no evidence in my mind that that makes a difference. Um, yes, rolling the grass puts it into the growing rather than a harvested state, but it is a growing state one, which is the same. Um, the transitions that happen after that are the same as it being in harvested. Growing state one goes to growing state two at the end of the month, and harvested also goes to growing state two at the end of the month. Um, I'm going to test it in one of my let's plays. Don't know which one yet, but we'll see. But I have no evidence and I see no logic as to how that works. Anyway, conclusion time. We have four tractors with 
the same amount of grass between them. We got 60,000 litres off this randomly sized patch of grass, whether we mowed it in the first harvestable state or the second harvestable state. Um, as long as you don't leave it for a day, you get the same amount of grass. Not a day, a month. If you left it for a month in the ready to harvest state, you'd get less. Um, but doing it as soon as you, uh, either in the first or second harvestable state, and not leaving it in that last harvestable state, same amount of grass. So if you found this video interesting or useful, please click the like button and leave me a comment below. If you dislike the video, dislike it. The algorithm still likes you, so thank you. Um, and if you're not, as I said, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And uh, I will catch you next time on FS22.